Assalamu ala rasulillah lameen. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Quantity is not important, quality is important. So the people with quality, even number is less, it does not matter. In fact, it may be more important. And also we are thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Shaydullah, brother Shaydullah, that he has given us Shaydullah in this community who is day and night working for such a noble cause, starting an Islamic TV program. And I see him all over, almost all alone, working almost day and night. May Allah bless him with health and with uh, strength. And he's got this will. And when you have a will, there is a way, inshallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes those who work for Islam with sincerity, with hard work. And inshallah, Nusra will come. It may come later or sooner, only Allah knows. But the way he's working is, is a dawah. Dawah program is working for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, day and night. And of course, we have to not only make dua, but we have to do whatever we can to uh, help him in whatever way. Uh, telling our friends, <laughs> doing whatever we can for helping him in whatever way we can, money-wise and uh, uh, every way, because we need an Islamic TV program. It is already proven that not only he's got the technical skills, but he's got the will. And when you have that kind of consistency, inshallah, uh, you get success. Uh, and the, uh, the other thing that I have to remind myself that the month of Ramadan is coming, so I have to prepare myself properly for this month so that the purpose of Ramadan is achieved by the end of the Ramadan. And what is that? To acquire taqwa. If I'm able to acquire taqwa, then at least that purpose would be achieved. That is, the Quran says the purpose of the Ramadan is. And then if I could continue that taqwa, hold it strong, it's just like a charged battery. If we keep it properly maintained, it may go on throughout the next 11, 12 months until we reach, inshallah, the next Ramadan. Because taqwa is the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says distinguish between good Muslims and not so good Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help and guide us that we are follow, that we follow whatever is intended to follow during the month of Ramadan. And as the other day I heard the Imam saying the khutbah that remember that at least your behavior, your taluk, uh, not only with Allah but with ibad, your relationship with human beings should be improved. You should uh, respect others more than anything else. And if you consciously work on it, uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu you know the Quran says, Wa inna ka azim, khuluk, our akhlaq, our manners. These are the main things that distinguish between Muslims and non-Muslims. So we hope that we all improve our akhlaq also, that we take care of others more than we take care of our own self. May Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala guide and help us, inshallah. Wa alhamdulillah, Let's concentrate and make brief dua, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa sallim. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatum wa fi la akhirati hasanatum wa qana azab al-nar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhuriyatina qurrata ayuni wa jalna lil muttaqina imama. Allahumma inna ka'afuwan kareemun tuhibla fa'afu anna ya ghafuru ya ghafuru ya ghafur. Rabbi ghfir warham wa anta khairu rahmeen. Rabbi khfir warham wa anta khairu rahmeen. Ya shafi al-amraz fi mardan wa mardan muslimin. Ya halal al-mushkilat. يسر لنا أمورنا دنيانا وأخرانا يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا مستقيما وفضلا دائما ونزل الرحمة 
بقلا كاملا وعلما نافعا وقلبا منورا وتوفيقا احسانا وصبرا جميلا واجرا عظيما ولسانا ذاكرا وبدنا صابرا ورزقا واسعا مصائب مشهورا وذم مغفورا وعملا مقبولا ودعاء مستجابا فلقاء النصيب وجنه في الداس ونعيم مقيم وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين امين ITV Call of Peace Save Humanity